Sandcastle Water Park has been closed by flooding since Saturday evening. Employees are working hard to remove mud and debris left behind by the river water. Dave Crawley has more. Kids are known to skip with joy as they enter the water world of Sandcastle under normal conditions. But this isn't normal. It's not easy to send Monongahela mud back where it came from before the flood. The water level came up on Saturday night and got to about two-thirds of the way up the stem of the mushroom. General Manager Damian Dondero says lifeguards, concession workers, and ticket takers transformed instantly into a flood response team. We jumped right in, started removing the motors that were on the lower level in our pump rooms to get them out of the flood zone, and started moving all of our furniture and other items that were on this lower level of the park up to a higher level. The lower level of the park was essentially part of the river before the water receded, leaving a foul-smelling mess in its wake. Just a day ago, much of the mud you see down there covered this pool deck. And in fact, much of it is still in the mushroom pool here, which unfortunately is still the color of mushrooms. But not for long. They're pumping the water back into the mon, and soon it will be crystal clear again and you'll be able to swim in it as if none of this happened. The deck chairs return, but returning mud to the mon will take a little longer. Midwinter floods are not uncommon here, but closing the park in the peak of the summer season? This is the first time in 21 years we've had flooding in the middle of the summer. Weather forecast, hot and humid. Reopening day, uncertain. Dave Crawley, KDKA, TV News.